it's not easy. Sometimes, like right now, I'm tired. Yeah, it's nearly 11 o'clock. I've got to wash my face. Like by the time I finish and everything, it'll be like nearly 12 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, I, didn't even, I can't even chill. I haven't, had, I haven't chilled. I have not sat down. You should just sit down and chill in your bed. I ain't got time to do that. The Ingersoll Kadma Show presents the bridge between faith, entrepreneurship, and leadership. My name is Ingozi Kadmus and I'm a mental health and leadership expert. I represent the average woman and equip women of faith to walk in their divine calling, master their thoughts and love themselves so that they can level up spiritually, mentally and financially. Welcome to the Ingozi Kadmus show. I'm going to be very honest, I'm really better at conversations with another person. I've really deeped it because after I do an episode, I sit there and think, mm, I can have the same conversation with somebody else and it's much better, but it's so different doing it to the screen. So I, I really have to give ratings to um, people that can just speak to the screen on their own all the time because I think it's just hard. You know, it's easier with interaction. I'm a person that feeds off somebody else, right? I'm an only child, so, you know, I spend a lot of time on my own, but I need that interaction. So I want to just talk about doing things, whether you like it or not. You know why inspired that inspired me? Because I got home late, um, home today from a podcast, an amazing podcast, like, absolutely amazing. And um, I did not want to record. I was tired, but it was like, I'm wearing makeup. Let me make the most of it. Tomorrow it was going to be hard to squeeze it in. I've got another live with the girls um, talking about um, friendship. Um, I've got a meeting for my TEDx that I'm doing. Um, I've got fellowship and need to memorize. I haven't been able to memorize today because I spent like hours with these guys on the podcast. Like we just, we just chopped it up. It was just so amazing getting to know them. Yeah. But when I got back, I was so tempted to just jump into the bath and be like, I'm going to chill. Let me just watch um, Love is Blind after the altar. But I said, no, I'm going to record podcasts. I'm going to record a live. I'm going to do it because it's about being consistent. It's about because I'm being watched. Let me tell you the truth, right? You don't understand the power of consistency until people start reaching out to you and saying, wow, I watched that video every single week. Not every single week, nearly every single day. Um, somebody's saying to me, they've watched X, Y, Z about what I am doing. I am absolutely flawed. The little bits that I'm doing. And when I go on podcasts, because I'm going on a lot of podcasts and I'm doing a lot of different things, right? A lot of them have to look at my videos just to get a sense of who I am so they can talk about me. So imagine if I just come like this and, you know, I'm just not my best self. They are watching this. And lastly, it's whether you like it or not, you've got to do the last thing God has told you to do. Listen to this. You have to continue to do. You've got to continue to steward. You have to continue to do the last thing God told you to do. God told me to do this podcast and I'm doing it. Until I'm able to do something else with it, because I'm going to do other things, it's not going to be how it is. I'm still doing a podcast every week. Every single week, I do a podcast. It may, it may not come out every week now, just because of editing and being so busy, so many few things, but I do a podcast every single week because I'm being watched. I might, be, I might not be being watched by a thousand people, but I'm being watched by hundreds of people. Because people are literally telling me every single day, oh, I watch your podcast and I'm sitting there like, and honestly, sometimes it's a bit embarrassing because I'm shy. I'm not, I'm not shy, shy, but I'm like, oh my God. And then too, in all honesty, yeah, I'm, a bit, I'm surprised. I just, you know what I mean? I just, oh my God, you're watching it. Like, and also if I don't put my best foot forward every time, I would be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed about the content. I think my content is good. I think my, what I'm doing is good. I'm just, it's like, oh my God, you're actually watching me. I don't think I'm being watched until I'm told I'm being watched. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm actually being watched. Like friends would say, I really loved your video. And they would genuinely are watching my content. They're watching it. They watch other people's content. I'm like, wow. So you've got to do things whether you like it or not. You've got to go to the gym whether you like it or not. Because that's life. Life is not always waking up and liking the things that you're doing a lot of things you do consistently you don't like it's not great like i'm memorizing my speech right do i like i enjoy it but i could be doing something else those two hours i would love to chill i would love to rest but no so even tomorrow now i'm going to do four hours because i was not able to do it today 
I'm thinking I've got to wake up early. I've got to wake up. The only way to do what I've got to do is I've got to wake up early to do everything I want to do. I've got to wake up early. But I would rather wake up late. But I've got to do it. I've got to do it because I need to make sure that I'm at a certain place with my speech. Because right now, today, I haven't memorised. So tomorrow, I need to memorise this amount so that I can be at a certain place with my speech. I want by next week, Friday, or even Saturday or Sunday, to memorise my speech. Because I've got two more weeks. I've got two, yeah, essentially now, I've got two weeks or three weeks from tomorrow before my speech, before I stand there and give the 12 minutes of my life, before I stand there and shape people, help people, inspire people, embolden people, encourage people, empower people. I have three weeks time. I have in three weeks time, that's what I'm going to be doing. So whether I like it or not, I'm going to have to memorize. Whether I like it or not, I jumped on and did a live. Whether I like it or not, you have to do things you don't always want to do because you've got to be disciplined. You've got to be consistent. You've got to achieve your goals. So I just wanted to, this is going to be a short, sweet podcast on keep on going. It is not easy. Sometimes, like right now I'm tired. It's nearly 11 o'clock. I've got to wash my face. That like By the time I finish and everything, it'll be like nearly 12 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, I, don't even, I can't even chill. I haven't, had, I haven't chilled. I have not sat down. You just sit down and chill on your bed. I ain't got time to do that. But I'm glad I did this. Like now, having recorded, I'm like, wow, okay. Now I haven't got to think about how I'm going to squeeze this in tomorrow. I ain't got to think about that. I can wash my face, jump into bed, and um, know that I've produced content that's going to be edited and we're going to put it out there. Because I don't know what content's going to go and make me blow. <laughs> as they say. I don't know what content's going to go and make me grow. You've got to be consistent and I'm being watched. I am I'm being what I'm I've got meetings this month with people that watch my content. They've reached out to me. I need to even get back to a few people that have reached out to me about my content. How amazing is that? Get a few hundred views a week or together, a couple of hundred views on all like not hundreds of thousands, and I'm getting invites and just different things. I just want to encourage you guys. Don't despise small beginnings. Keep on going whether you like it or not. I shall see you in the next video, video. See you in the... And so if I if I do seem a little bit tired, <laughs> it's just because it's been a long day. So that's partly why. Like, it's been a long day, so I'm not as vibrant or as sharp as I would be because as I was even coming home, I was thinking, should I record? Should I not record? Like, I didn't even... My husband encouraged me to like, just do it. And I was like, you know what? Fine. Because I'm going to regret not doing it. <laughs> I'm going to regret that like, I've got to squeeze it in to do tomorrow. But I did it. I came, gave value, and I'm gone. See you in the next video. Ooh, what an amazing show. If I may say so myself. Well, thank you for listening to the Ingazi Kadma Show podcast. So, for all of you women of faith and all of you women who are listening week after week and resonate with what I'm talking about feel lost feel uncertain know they're called for something greater but they're currently stuck in what is comfortable they're stuck in the familiar and you honestly want to get out of that you want to be all that God has created you to be sis I got you covered yeah I've got an amazing amazing mentorship that I provide um, to women of faith like yourself to help them level up essentially equip them with the skills that they need to fulfill their assignment on earth and to shift their mindset to shift their mindset have a complete metanoia have a complete transformation so if that sounds like something you're interested in click the link on the website and yeah follow the instructions and i can't wait to see you in the community so like share subscribe <laughs> that's youtube but for the podcast lovers download it share it you know tweet it review it all of that good stuff and i shall see you in the next podcast